Ifanian Technologies offers a variety of intelligent power modules IPMs, with different semiconductors in different packages and different voltage and current classes. These energy-efficient intelligent power modules, integrate the latest power semiconductor and ICs technology. IPMs are families of highly integrated, compact power modules, designed to drive motors in applications, ranging from home appliances, fans, pumps, to general purpose drives. Ifanian Technologies Advanced IGBTs, MOSFETs, Next Generation Gate Driver ICs, and state-of-the-art thermomechanical technology, are used for the intelligent power modules. The modules improve system performance, and energy efficiency by delivering increased power density, enhanced system ruggedness and reliability. A broad selection of modules is offered to enable optimum PCB design, size and system costs. This simplifies the motor drive design, improves reliabilities and lowers component counts while significantly reducing time to market. The Infineon Technologies Suppose IPM Simulation Tool allows the user to simulate and compare IPMs under user-specified application conditions to help determine which part will best suit their needs. The simulation application page consists of four main sections, simulation schematic, parameter entry, part selection, and results. All simulations involve steady-state analysis. While losses are calculated for the IPM, all other components in the schematic are ideal, and do not add losses to the system. All IPM simulation models are comprised of an electrical and thermal model. Both models are derived from actual characterization of the IPMs, and hence the models align with parameters, found in the respective IPM datasheets. Electrical models are based on typical characteristics taken at two temperatures, 25 degrees Celsius and 150 degrees Celsius, and linearly interpolated for all other simulated temperatures. Thermal models are, single junction case impedance maximum characterization, and correspond at steady state to the maximum junction case resistance value, given in each part state a sheet. The suppose IPM3 phase inverter simulator was designed for the user to simulate and compare IPM parts under user specified three phase motor operating conditions to determine which part best suits their needs. This tool shows the expected temperature of the selected IPM, the approximate power losses of the IPM, and waveforms corresponding to the inverter output voltage, output current, junction temperature, and power losses. The IPM3 phase inverter simulator allows the user to input parameters for system and PWM frequency, modulation scheme, input and output voltage, current, power factor, thermal interface material, mounting option, thermal resistance, and reference temperature. Family and package options can be used to filter IPMs. The DC bus voltage input is also used to filter IPMs to only those that can operate at the required voltage. Default values are auto-filled, and the users can overwrite them, with their own parameters as needed. The input parameters have range limits, to prevent unrealistic outputs. All input parameters must be filled in before parts are selected, as the available parts list is determined by DC bus voltage, and the package filtering option. There are several modulation schemes, available for sine wave current operation, and square wave current operation in the simulation tool. Sine wave current operation can be classified into two groups, continuous and discontinuous. Normally, discontinuous PWM scheme, is used for reducing switching losses, at the cost of higher harmonics in the output current. Once all input parameters have been entered, the user can now select a part. The list of parts available, depends on the input parameters the user has entered. Highlighted in blue is the part number. Clicking on the part number, will direct the user to the part state to sheet. Next to the part number is the rated current for IGBT IPMs, or the rated RDS on for MOSFET IPMs, and its package name. 
as many parts as desired can be selected, but simulation time will increase with the number of IPMs selected, and graphs may become overcrowded. Once parts have been selected, the simulation can be started by clicking Get Result at the bottom of the parts list. Once clicked, the simulation will begin to run, and will read Calculating Jacobian below the button. Once finished, Analysis Completed will appear in its place. Pressing the Get Result button, before the analysis is completed will abort the calculation. The user can save the current simulation by pressing the Hold Result button. This will open a result history log, at bottom to show all traces saved. Clicking the minus next to the part, will remove its simulation results. Clicking a plus next to the part, will hold the simulation results until removed. Held results are indexed with a trace number. The trace number is auto-incremented, as additional simulation results are held. By clicking on the name in the trace, the user can rename as desired. This is beneficial, as the user can add information from the input parameters, to represent each trace. The IPM inverter simulation outputs a total of 11 graphs, in three scopes for the user to view. These include inverter output waveforms, high side temperature and losses, and low side temperature and losses, for both the switch and diode. The inverter output graph is shown automatically and the other graphs can be viewed by clicking their corresponding waveform scopes in the schematic. These scopes can be reordered by dragging the title bars. They can also be resized by dragging the small blue arrow in the bottom of each scope. The simulation offers many tools for analysis, located on the title bar, of each of the three scopes. Free zoom and fixed zoomed, can be used to better view each graph. The cursor tool allows the user, to move two cursors to measure voltage, current losses, and temperature at any given time in the scope. The result table for inverter losses, displays the total losses for the switch, diode, and the whole IPM part under the given conditions. Also included in this table is the efficiency, output power, and average case temperature. The phase A high side and low side result tables, show switching losses, conduction losses, average temperature and maximum temperature, of both the switch and diode inside the IPM. In the case of IGBT based IPMs, the IGBT losses are listed under switch, while the diode losses are listed under diode. In the case of IPMs containing reverse conducting IGBTs, the split is similar, although the IGBT and diode, are located on the same physical chip. In the case of IPMs containing MOSFETs, the forward conduction losses, E on, and E off, are grouped under switch, while the reverse conduction losses, and reverse recovery losses are grouped under diode. For MOSFET products, the switch and diode temperatures, are the same as the diode, is the intrinsic body diode, of the MOSFET structure. To evaluate an IGBT device, a single switch system, consisting of one IGBT and one ideal freewheeling diode, is implemented to simulate the power loss, and junction temperature of the IGBT device, at the given static DC voltage, and current conditions. The IPM simulation tool, allows the user to simulate and compare, intelligent power modules in different packages, voltage and current classes, under user specified application conditions, to help determine which part will best suit their needs.
Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get video updates.